So we have data for this one. The pressure will be 800 PSIA and the temperature will be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so far so good. Close. All right, now we go to the first flow line. Okay, let's call it compressor fit. All right, mode simple, environment land, override global environmental data, yes. Inside diameter, seven inch, 0 0.981, and wall thickness of 0 0.322 inches, roughness of 0 0.0018 inches, no undulation, so rate of undulation will be zero. Horizontal distance, only 100 feet with elevation difference of zero. And flow line starts at, of course, from the source. You can also click this one to change the direction, right? You can see, but flow line starts at source in the simulation. And for land heat transfer data, ambient temperature, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. U value type insulated with heat transfer coefficient of 0 0.2. And inside film coefficient, we select include. All right, this is the schematic of our flow line. Elevation versus horizontal distance with ambient temperature. You can also click this one to obtain data within the table. All right, we can close. Okay, now we go to the compressor. Let's call it compressor. All right, it is active. And for operation parameters, you can see red highlights in these four cells, but we actually need only to input one within one cell. So in the simulation, we prefer inputting data in this one, power. We provide power of 120 horsepower. All right. And the route will be adiabatic, but you can also select polytropic or Molier with the adiabatic efficiency of, let's say, 80%. All right, so far so good. So now we can close and we go to the next flow line. All right, let's call it gas transfer. All right, mode, simple, environment land, override global environmental data, yes. Inside diameter of 6.065 inches, wall thickness of 0 0.28, and roughness of 0 0.0018. Again, no undulation. So it will be like a straight line and horizontal distance now, it is quite long, 12,000 feet with elevation difference of again zero. Flow line starts at, of course, compressor. And for land heat transfer data, again, ambient temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit, insulated, heat transfer coefficient of 0 0.2 and inside film coefficient include. All right, again, this is the schematic of our gas transport line. Elevation with horizontal distance of 12,000 feet. All right, we can close. All right, so far so good. Now, lastly, we need to input data within our sink. So we call it sink, All right? Active, and let's say the pressure at sink point is 300 PSIA. Okay, close. All right, the highlight is validation. So we have been validated. Now we can perform network simulation. Okay, from here, we go to network simulation. All right, boundary conditions require two specifications. Okay, and we have supplied one specification, either pressure or flow rate. All right, this is the boundary conditions table at source. We provide pressure of 800 and at sink, we provide pressure of 300. All right, and also temperature 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the source. 
now you can see the run button has been available. So now we can just press the run button to perform the simulation. All right, the simulation has been completed. So you can check the engine console here. And this is the results for node and branch. You can see the display mode in node or in branch. We first check at node. So we have compressor, sync, and source. Type compressor, sync, and source. And this is the pressure. All right, at the outlet. So the pressure at the outlet of the compressor will be at 140 PSIA. And then the sink, of course, the pressure is 300. The source, the pressure is 800. So the compressor will only provide 40 PSIA additional from the pressure of our source, right? The pressure at the source is 800 after the compressor. The pressure is 840, and this is the temperature at each node. This is the liquid rate. And of course, the liquid comes from the water. This is the gas rate. So we can achieve 47 mmSCF per day, right? Million standard cubic feet per day. Water cut of 100%. We have also in situ condensate. This is the flow rate. And this is the water cut. We can also expand the table like this one for compressor limited by power. We have provided the compressor with power of 120 H power. So the outlet pressure will be at 140. And the differential pressure, of course, around 41 PSI, temperature difference of around 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit, adiabatic compressor with efficiency of 80%. Okay, now we go to the branch. Yeah, we have two branches, sink and source. All right, this is the pressure difference, temperature difference, liquid rate at the outlet, oil rate at the outlet, water rate at outlet, gas flow rate, and so on and so forth. Now we can check the profile. This is the grid, and this is the show plot. All right, at the sink, we only have one point, the pressure of 300 PSIA. And from the source, we can obtain this profile. All right, this is the pressure profile along the flow line starting from the source where we have pressure of 800 PSIA. The pressure is increased by the compressor to 840 PSIA. And then the pressure drops okay, at the sink to the level of 300 PSIA. All right, very interesting. And you can also obtain the data in the table like this one, total distance and pressure. All right, it's very handy. Yeah, we have obtained the pressure profile as the network simulation results. We can close this window and we can also click this one source, right? And you can see we have now this tool, PT profile or pressure temperature profile. We open this one. All right, now for PT profile, branch start, of course, from the source, and it will end at, of course, sync. And for default profile plot, pressure versus total distance. But you can also obtain results for this scenario, elevation versus pressure, elevation versus temperature, and temperature versus total distance. But of course, we are more interested in pressure versus total distance. Outlet pressure, pressure at the sink, Again, 300 PSIA. And we will calculate gas flow rate. And now we can also perform sensitivity analysis. Let's say we prefer the source pressure. Now we can see for pressure of 600, 800 as our base case, 
and 1000. All right, let's say it is the scenarios for pressure from our platform. In this case is our source, right? We can just click run. All right, very easy. The blue line is the results for pressure of 600. The red line is our base case with pressure of 800. And lastly, the green line is the results for pressure of 1000 PSIA. All right, so using the simulation, we can easily predict the pressure profile and also our temperature profile. All right, so we can conclude. So in this video, we have performed network simulation for natural gas pipeline. We perform the simulation using PipeSim software. So we install the source representing the platform and we have flow lines, compressor and sink. We perform simulation as well as sensitivity analysis to obtain pressure profile. And in the simulation, we use compositional model of fluid. So many, many things we have learned today. All right, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next PipeSim videos. Thank you.